Hello again, and welcome back to Operations Management. Today, we're going to be talking about profitability and process capacity. And to do that, we're going to continue with our example that we've been working with, which is the LRDR Laundry Company. If you recall, this company provides commercial laundry service to businesses whose employees wear uniforms. Approximately 10% of all the loads are considered heavy loads. The rest are considered normal loads. A normal load will take 30 minutes in the washer and 50 minutes in the dryer, whereas a heavy load takes a longer time in the washer, 45 minutes, and 90 minutes in the dryer. They have two washers and four dryers, and those washers and dryers can run 22 hours a day, seven days a week. Now we have some new information here. The net profit for a heavy load is $5.00 and the net profit for a regular load is $4. So with our current capacity of the two washers and four dryers, how much profit can be made in one week? So let's go take a look at what we do with our capacity analysis. Just like before, what we did was we calculated how many loads per week that can get done between the washer and the dryer we calculated how many loads each one of those resource pools could manage. Now the washer, even though they only had two washers, they were able to get 586.7 loads done in a week, but the dryer could only get 429.8. So here's our capacity, 429.8 loads per week. Now if you recall, 10% of the loads were heavy loads and 90% were regular loads. So now what we have to do is take that total amount, 429.8, and divide it between the heavy loads and the regular loads. So 10% of 429.8 is 42.98. We earn a net profit of $5 per heavy load so our net profit from heavy loads is $214.90. We take the 90% of the total loads as regular loads, and that's 386.82 loads, and we multiply that by the profit for regular loads of $4, and that's $1,547.28. So our total pro profit for our given capacity is $1,762.18 per week. So now we know how much we can earn per week with our existing capacity. But now the question becomes, which type of laundry load is actually more profitable for the company? To do this, we have to take into consideration two things. First, we have to figure out what is our net profit per load? In our example, we were told that heavy loads earn us $5 a load, but regular loads only provide us $4 in net profit. But in conjunction with that, we have to consider how many loads can actually be done based on our capacity of our company. So with our two washers and our four dryers, how many loads of each type could be done. So now what we're going to do is just take a look at each type of load individually. For the heavy loads, we can figure out, again based on capacity, that the total number of loads per week is only 382.69. Instead of the dryer being the bottleneck, the washer is actually the bottleneck. Now we take the total number of loads and multiply it by our $5 net profit per load. And if we only managed to do heavy loads, we could earn $1,913.45 in a week. Now let's go see what happens with the regular loads. With the regular loads, our maximum loads is 574. Again, the bottleneck is the washer in that we are limited by the number of loads by the washer capacity. 
But now we take that 574 and we multiply it by our $4 profit per load, and that's $2,296. So even though our heavy loads gave more profit per load in terms of which type of laundry load is more profitable for the company, Heavy loads only gave us $1,913.45, whereas the regular loads gave us 2296 So in this case, although individually heavy loads have a higher net profit, when constrained by our capacity, we could complete more regular loads and end up with a higher profit. So when we're looking at profitability, we have to consider the constraint of capacity. Next time, we're going to start talking about inventory. I'll see you then.